Now for our next discussion, we'll be talking about velocity. So what is velocity? So ibang first atong gusto yan is ang change of position and then its position. Now velocity comes when a particle moves through a displacement during the time interval. The average velocity of the particle during this time interval is shown in this equation. Average velocity is equal to the change of position over the change of time. So when we, our common SI unit for velocity, we have the uh, meters per seconds. Also, sa mga jeepneys, no, we have the kilometers per hour. Also, sa wind speed. So this is the change of position. So we have, that's why we have this one, the average velocity is equal to the change of position because the particle is moving over the change of time. So remember that when we talk about change, we use the delta sign. Okay, so this is the velocity. If we take smaller and smaller values of time and displacement, the change of time and the change of displacement, both becomes smaller and the instantaneous velocity at this instant is equal is denoted in this equation. So here we the de, uh, denoted the delta the de, displacement gani minus minus at la let's say ang initial position the object is uh, 10 meters and at t is equal to 0 seconds and then yung final position is equal to 15 meters at t is equal to uh, let's say 2 seconds so, the average velocity in this example is equal to the change of position or displacement. So, 15 meters minus 10 meters over the change of time. 2 seconds minus 0 seconds. We have 5 meters over 2 seconds equal to 2.5 meters per second. Now, on the second uh, example... We talk about uh, this instantaneous velocity. So, ko ato i consider ang kanang gamay ka ay nga values, no nga change ni time and position or displacement. We'll be using the derivatives. So, if you're familiar, no, ingon siya, uh, velocity is equal to ds over dt. So, sign conventions are same with displacement. If the particle is moving to the right, the velocity is positive. So, same regard na siya always. If uh, moving to the right, okay, if the object moves to the right, then velocity is positive. If the object moves to the left, then the velocity is negative. So, these are vector quantities, man. So, balik tano, so, Velocity is uh, displacement over the change of time. Or we have this ds over dt. So these are also change of this uh, position over time. Now, the next one after the velocity, we have the acceleration. So acceleration is the velocity of the particle known at two points. So average acceleration of, a, of the particle during the in time interval T is defined as this equation. So, yung ni siya class. Ang kanang object na mag-move, kung nani siya velocity diri, let's say, ah, okay, 10 meters per seconds na lang, yung initial velocity. It's either mo paspas na siya or mo hinay. So, it is, it does not, uh, mo accelerate siya, mo na siya itong kitaw na to accelerate, no? na change in velocity. Ni kusog siya, ni paspas. And then, sa yung final velocity, or V prime, na siya 15 meters per second. So, the acceleration of this uh, object, let's say this is T is equal to 0 seconds. And this time D is equal to 2 seconds uh, for, for E. So, acceleration of this particle, uh, final velocity is 15 meters per second minus the initial velocity 10 meters per second. Uh, divided by the change of time, the uh, delta t, so that is 2 seconds minus 0 seconds, we have 
5 meters per second over 2 seconds. So the acceleration of this particle here, so 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. And then meters per second divided by second. So ang mahitabuan ni class, no? So, uh, here. So, meters per second uh, divided by second, ang mahitabuan is, muna na siyang maingani. Ang numerator divided by the reciprocal of the denominator. So, numerical, numer, uh, numerator, ano yung unit is meters per second, times the reciprocal of the denominator sa unit. So, since seconds ang reciprocal, so we will uh, take that in, into 1 over s, reciprocal sa seconds. So, the acceleration then becomes 2.5 meters per s times s is s squared or second squared. So, this will be our acceleration. Again, na napunta yung ginataw nga instantaneous acceleration. So, accelerate. Uh, instantaneous acceleration is given again by the equation dv over dt. So, na na involved nga differential. So, if acceleration is positive, same. Pasabot ang velocity nag-increase through time. If acceleration is negative, sa ito panihinay ang body. So, same raga po nga idea. So, positive acceleration, increase ang velocity ni kusog siya ni paspas. And then, uh, negative uh, velocity, access acceleration, it means nihinay ang object. Combining the two equations, so natay equation, di ba? Nga is, is, uh, instantaneous. So, natay ma-produce yan eh. So, Diba? Sa instantaneous velocity, we have the change of uh, distance over dt. ds over dt. Uh, let's call this equation 1. And then our equation 2 is this. The acceleration is dv over dt, right? So, unsa na to pag-combine sa dua equation We need to equate unsay common term nila. So, the common term for this uh, both equation is pareho silag na ay dt. So, let's equate it into dt. So, dt is equal to ds over uh, velocity. This is the simple uh, cross multiplication. And this one, equation 2, we have dt is equal to dv over a. So, combining these two equation. Since dt is equal to dt, we will have ds over v is equal to dv over a. Okay? And then, cross multiplication. Cross multiplication. We will reach this formula. A, ads is equal to velocity times dv. Okay. So, this is the equation. So, the three most important equations of kinematics are, you need to remember this. Importante kay ni siya. Velocity is equal to ds over dt. First, derivative. So, di ba atong position is, gitawag na itong s. First, derivative ni s is si velocity. Second, derivative ni s is the acceleration. Or, ang first derivative ni velocity is the acceleration. That's why we have dv over dt. Okay? Okay?